What is up guys? This is EB Macintosh Tips. Today I'm bringing you a great Mac application called Fun Booth. This is for all Mac users. It is a great way to implement your eyesight with face recognition technology. It's a real fun app. Hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and run through of uh, Fun Booth and you guys stay tuned. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up Fun Booth. As it opens, you'll be greeted with this nice interface here. It looks very similar to um, Photo Booth. The only difference is one, um, you've got kind of a film strip across the bottom and the top and also you're going to find um, a icon box to your right um, showing all of your um, different faces and uh, fun things you can add on to your face. So just to run through the application and I'll show you how it works. Um, on the bottom left here you're going to find a camcorder button. If you click this you can basically just make a um, short video using your fun little um, details here, your mask and all this. The second one is going to be a camera button as you see the it changed from a photo reel to a regular camera shot and then third one third one is actually your preview mode okay now this is very similar to iPhoto as you hit once you hit the camera button it's gonna count you down from three two one it flashes the screen white and then it takes a picture it's kind of a cool way to implement a flash on your screen this way it brightens up any details that are on your face to make it a little more crisp okay uh, now let's get fun with it on the right side here you're gonna find your inspector window um, you can find two tabs. One is your props and two is edit. Now in your props you have several things that come default with um, Fun Booth. One is eyes, two is facial hair, three is hats, four is mask, five is miscellaneous, and then six is just my props that I made myself. Um, and I'll get to these props in just a second. So let's just start with the basic one. All you do is basically it, it once the um, application opens it picks up your face, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, and your jawline. And then it takes it and you click it and then all it does is it implements where your eyes are located and then your glasses. So if I move further away from the um, eyesight, the glasses actually shrink and I move further towards the, you know, closer towards the eyesight, the glasses actually expand. Uh, kind of make it look more realistic. And I'll show you just a quick preview of what these are going to look like. So some fun things there. Okay, Let's go to facial hair. Again, you can do the same thing with facial hair. You can add different things. Now, say I want to add facial hair, plus I would like to add um, some glasses. So all you have to do is go down here to the bottom and hit Combine. Okay. So once I hit Combine, then anything I click from now on is going to add toward to this facial hair. So I can go over to Eyes and maybe click these, and then go over to the right and go to Hats and maybe wear this one. And then you take a picture. So all you got to do is go down here to the Picture button, hit 3, 2, 1. You can even adjust it. And then it flashes the screen, takes a picture. It's very cool. Okay, you can click combine again, and it'll take you back to the regular facial hair. Okay, to make to fa take the facial hair off and the one that's actually selected, you just find it again and click it again. It kind of gives you a nice preview window on the right side here, showing which one is actually under the spotlight and you're using at that time. As you flip through here, you find hats and of course my props, and I'll get to that last. On the hats, it's very cool. It kind of implements. It takes your eye technology. Um, your facial recognition takes your eyes and just puts it right above that and it does fit quite well with most of them. I'm just flip through here and I'll show you. It's kind of funny. Okay, so once I have one that I want to select, all you have to do is just go over to here to edit. You can actually edit and use kind of a paintbrush, kind of like in Photoshop if you guys use Photoshop, or kind of like um, paint if you guys are on a PC. Um, and so if I hit color, actually, actually select a color, select my brush size and actually go in here and color up whatever I want to do and then it'll once I set it as a prop it actually go in and stay with this prop right here or I can set it as a, a regular prop if I don't have a hat selected so if you guys want to actually draw maybe a bloody nose or a black eye you can do that and then set it around your face um, conveniently to make it look professional so let me go ahead and show you um, how I made my own props and how to import them um, so you can do this yourself okay so I, I had a little um, folder here that I have my props in. So all you're going to do is go to My Props. You can add them to whatever you want, but I'm just going to put them on My Props. And I'm going to go over to uh, Miscellaneous. I'll hit the Add button. It'll take me to this window. I'll go and find the folder and which one I want to select. And I actually made this one called Mac vs. PC, um, Angel vs. Devil. And it gives you these the two Mac vs. PC on the side. Now, as you see, they're kind of out of proportion. So I'm going to adjust these. All you have to do is you just drag it out. And the easiest way to adjust these without using size or losing size 
is you're gonna hold down the shift key and drag them in. And that's gonna keep it very proportionate to um, what you need. Okay, so you're just gonna sit up straight, set it where you want it, kind of have your face in the middle, it works best that way, and then set them on your shoulders. Let me adjust it a little more. That looks good right about there. And then again, you're gonna go over to the right side and just press set as prop. Now if you use any eraser or a brush tool, you can go ahead and do that. And of course, you can mess with all these um, personal preference whenever you guys get the app. Link will be in the description to the right. Um, you can play with those and add them to the prop. So this will be fine right now. I'm gonna go set as prop. You stay still. And as you see, it sets it. So I've got a Mac and I've got a PC, okay? If I move towards the eyesight, the icons get bigger. If I move further away, they get smaller, so they look like they're resting on my shoulders. This is a very cool application um, using um, face recognition technology. Um, you can have a lot of fun with this with your friends and uh, other things. And if you guys go over to my props or all props, you see that I've actually added several props here that I'm actually I made in Photoshop, and I'm going to give to you guys. Um, and you, I'm just going to run through them here at the bottom. You guys can see all those fun props. Um, and I'm going to give to this guys in the folder. All you have to do is go and visit MacintoshTips.com. Just follow the link in the description. At, at that website, you'll be able to download this application for free. Plus, you'll be able to download all the, the big folder um, that I've made for you guys with some extra props in it. So anyways, guys, this has been uh, Fun Booth. This has been EB Macintosh Tips, you guys know. And again, thank you. Go visit the website. And if you haven't voted for me on my tape sculpture, go and do that. All the links will be in the description. All you have to have is an email address and uh, all the votes help. Thanks again, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Hello, I'm a Mac, and I'm a PC. Oh, hey, PC. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just swinging by because I heard about Fun Booth. Oh, well, I'm sorry to tell you, but Fun Booth is only for Mac users.